And this morning's Money Watch, big American retailers are updating their mask policies. And mall owner Simon Property says that sales returned to pre-pandemic levels in June. That sounds good. Jane King is live in New York following these stories for us and more. Good morning, Jane. Yes, uh, Ted Morgan and good morning to you. Simon Property Group saw sales at its shopping malls and outlet centers bounce back to pre-pandemic levels in the most recent quarter. So the CEO said that retail sales at its properties in June were comparable to those of June 2019 and up 80% from June of last year. Simon is the biggest mall owner in the U.S. It has two centers in South Carolina, the Haywood Mall in Greenville and the Gaffney Outlet in Gaffney. Well, Walmart, Sam's Club, Target will again require employees wear masks regardless of vaccination status. The new CDC mask guidance also recommends people with underlying conditions wear masks as well. And Walmart CEO said corporate staff and management who work in multiple facilities will be required to be vaccinated by October 4th. Gas prices are rising as Americans plan for late summer road trips. The average national gas price is up about two cents per gallon over the past week to 316 a gallon according to Gas Buddy. AAA says the current price in Greenville is 286 a gallon. And stocks gave up early gains, turned negative yesterday. There was a worry about the variance and economic growth slowing. So the Dow down 100 points, but looks like we'll open 150 high today. Live from New York, I'm Jane King. Back to you. It seems as though gas prices continue to go up and up and up. Uh, I, I'm just, I'm not sure where we're going to hit the cap here. I know. Well, we typically do see them go up in the summer. Let's see if they go down after Labor Day. If not, then we might have a problem. Fingers so we'll crossed. see. That'll be here in about a month. Jane, thank you.